<laughs> All right, we're just a few days out from September, and you know how it goes here in western Pennsylvania. The season is going to change really fast. Yeah, but you actually know this is a great time to do some gardening. This is perfect for, for, for procrastinators, if I could say the word. Uh, Doug Oster is here. All right, Doug, we are getting some bulbs in the ground, and this is a really great time for early fall. Start of the third part of the season. This, wow. Uh, this is, besides spring, the most important time to plant. Uh, as we go through this, it's going to be bulbs, you know, cool weather veggies, perennials, trees and shrubs. Ooh. This is the time we're doing all this. And bulb planting has kind of gone a little out of favor. And I love bulb planting. I've been bulb planting forever. And all you do is you put that bulb in the ground that one time. And then it comes back year after year after year. In many cases, you get more and more flowers. Yeah. But when these flowers bloom, they're not there for a long time. You know, maybe a month. And people often ask, okay. like, why do you only want something blooming for a month? That's the whole point. Oh. We wait all year. <laughs> it's, it's more special that way. Definitely. And look how beautiful these pictures we're so, seeing are. So That's, uh, some of that is from Holland. You know, it's not my backyard. It's not? I thought those that was are mine. House. Those are mine. That's okay. Holland. <laughs> oh, okay. That's beautiful. I like how you mix the two of them so we can't tell. Now, Heather That's, is now armed with a power tool. This is, the way, this. this is the way to plant your bulbs. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. That's so scary. <laughs> but this is so. This is an auger. This is a bulb auger. Okay. This one's called a power planter. When you buy a tool, you should be able to hand it down to your grandkids. Okay. You can find it. This is like a twenty-seven dollar tool. You can find them cheaper on Amazon, but they're not going to last. This is a great made in America thing, and this makes bulb planting fun. There's this tool you use with your hand. Cruel and unusual punishment for gardeners. Yeah. You'll have 90 bulbs and have, you know, put 10 in. What am I going to do with the other, you know, yeah. whatever's left? This makes we, where you, you can, can do it so fast. Yeah. Right? And so starting out there, you guys guessed it. It's from the onion family. Yeah, you know, look what, at these. That is an allium. Uh, allium. Allium is, is onion family. And this is, you know, we know those mostly as kind of the big globe purple flowers, but this one's going to be pure white. Uh, these all came from this place called John Sheeper's Beauty from Bulbs, and uh, it was the only place I was going to able to get bulbs this early in the season because we just we start blue planting right now, and this is compl completely deer proof. Deer won't wow. eat anything from the onion family, and then this one here, this is called Glory of the Snow. Now with these little bulbs. When you plant bulbs, you plant them three times as deep as the actual bulb. So as you can see, an allium is going to be tougher to bl right. plant, plant than this. Than this. this, you know, a couple inches down. And then uh, tricolor crocus. Uh, you got to have crocuses in the spring, oh, David. Oh, I know. They're so, so all, nice. All of these bulbs come up in the spring. Like, the, none of them come up during the winter. So your oh, allium is, is May. Uh, your glory of the snow is right after the crocus, which would be March, April. Okay, really your early. crocus is April. And then this is uh, one that's been around forever that people don't plant. It's called Pushkinia. Pushkinia. And it's a pure white little flower. Again, deer resistant, makes this beautiful colony. Same with the glorious snow. It makes this beautiful colony. You start with 25, you're going to have 100. You're going to have 200 eventually. It's just so easy. And as I said, we wait all year to see these blooms. See, you know, we're in this age of instant gratification, exactly. but it's so nice to have some work done ahead of time so you can enjoy it later. You hit the nail on the head, and that's why it's becoming less popular to do it, and the nurseries are carrying fewer and fewer bulbs. That's why, I'm, you know, I always say get them from your local nursery, but a place like John Sheepers, they have everything. Like for a guy like me, I, I want this. I want a white Pushkinia. I want a tricolor right, crocus. Right. I want something different. And tell us about Joe. This is Joe Ham's daffodil garden. Oh man, Joe Ham down in Washington County. It's the most amazing collection of blooming daffodils, and he sells off some of his rarest stuff. I was talking about it yesterday on the radio. Bulbs that go back to the 1700s, wow. you know, and this is a cool way to shop. It's a list of plants, and you just take the name. And you put it into another database, and then it shows you the picture. And I, this is old school. This is for somebody like right, me, David. Right. Old. No, I see the glimmer <laughs> in your oh, eye I just, about I just, this. I sit, and you're not old. I can sit there for an hour, and look through those names, and and then go to the database and read the story. Joe Ham's daffodil uh, garden is just an amazing place. Uh, Joe lost his legs to a medical condition, but it has not slowed down his passion for daffodils. You go down there in April for free. And you'll see 
something like you, you can't believe. Most of the daffodils he grows are not in uh, commercial cultivation. And wow. so you could order wow. some of those. Right here in Very western rare. Pennsylvania. Grow something different. Very All right. cool. We are not done getting our hands dirty just yet. When we come back, we move from bulbs to veggies, what you can still plant even as the calendar flips to September. Ooh. Stay with us.